<laughs> we're not far from the Des Moines River that we're going to be paddling down for the next 10 days. We've got about 115 kilometers to paddle. Looking forward to just getting on the water. So we're just here at the Zek Park office. Uh, you got to register for your trip here. Just a safety protocol. And if you don't show back up, they'll send someone out looking for you. So that's nice. This is where we're going to be starting our adventure. Everything's going real smooth right now. When do you get a wilderness beach like this all to yourself? So to start, we have to paddle down to the very end of this lake. I think where we're actually going around the corner is about 20 kilometers because we're at the far south end here. What a beautiful lake this is here. It has kind of a tomogamy feel. Sure. The trees, these big hills. Oh, oh, oh! I got a fish. <laughs> Maybe we can um, find a nice spot and set up. We're pretty wiped from uh, just packing and getting ready for the trip. And we found this old site here. Clearly no one stayed here in a while, but uh, personally I think it's uh, beautiful. It's got a gorgeous view. It's quite a walk down to the canoe to bring all our gear up here, but pretty nice. What a gorgeous view. It's a nice calm evening. Got the tent set up and uh, gonna get a fire going and cook up some dinner. Our little dishwasher does an excellent job. <laughs> Don't you, buddy? Morning. Morning. So we're just paddling out of Ten Mile Lake en route to the North River which will take us into the Des Moines River where the adventure really starts. 
We went about 15 kilometers yesterday. Still got about 100 kilometers to travel. That's about uh, 62 miles or something like that. On this lake here, there's actually a remote camp. Um, so it would be like a sportsman camp type of thing for hunting and fishing, I presume. And, uh, you know, totally off grid. It's arriving at the first portage. This is a nice little meandering stretch through here. It's quite picturesque. Is this a portage? It's marked as one. Maybe we'll be able to line, but it's marked as portage left. I can tell there's quite an elevation difference. I think I'll be able to line it. Anyway, it looks pretty straightforward. kind of eventful a little bit challenging but uh, it meant we didn't have to portage we got another one coming up right away this one sounds a little steeper so it's gonna be portage left at Bella she was fine in the next minute her eye was all swollen up must be having an allergic reaction to something you can give dogs Benadryl and so we've given her that so hopefully this makes it better I think she's fine even without it but you know sometimes these anaphylactic stuff can get dangerous very quickly Girl. Sands are out and hopefully it's not a log jam. Draw! 
<laughs> well, hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. So we have made it down the North River and we're just entering what's called Lac Boulart, which is actually part of the Des Moines River. This is where the uh, main adventure really begins. It's beautiful out right now. I think this is a site right here. Yep. Pretty nice beach around the corner here. Okay, though. Heather approved? Yeah. Nice pine needle uh, here. Sweet. Yeah, Spute. Nice. Wow, look at them. Look at the beach over there. Oh, wow. Oh, the air smells so pure and clean. Just absolutely beautiful. There's a scent of pines in the air and um, the sun is setting just right over here. We should get a nice sunset and uh, Bella is doing much better, which okay. is very good. It's gotten substantially better since we gave her the Benadryl. Bella is waiting by the food. All right, I am a hungry girl too, Bella. Tonight is a bit lighter. Gotta have a leopard print camp pillow. Oh yeah. Where are you going with that? Where are you going with that then? Oh. So this time on Heather's Reviews, we've got some red peppers, we've got some salami, we've got some cheddar cheese, we've got pizza sauce, we've got some pitas. So yeah, we're gonna try to do camp calzones in a frying pan. <laughs> Kinda hot. It's like the exact crispiness you'd want. It was perfect. Like perfect. It's a little messy, but so good. I'm giving this five stars. It is delicious. It's best. <laughs> Looking forward to tomorrow. Should be pretty fun. Uh, hopefully, you know, we don't die in the rapids. We're gonna crush it out there. Hopefully not around a boulder. <laughs> Good night.
morning. Good morning. Bella brought me a bagel. Did you bring me a bagel? <laughs> Are you, are you having that bagel for breakfast? I have some, thank you. Another beautiful day in the Canadian wilderness. So just back in the woods over here, there's a couple of old steam engine alligators, the, the wrecks of them that are left from uh, the logging days. They were used to power paddle wheels to pull logs across the lake or powerful winches. So they would winch logs through the woods and that's, um, you know, that's once they had the steam engine that you, you started seeing some of that uh, power equipment come into the industry. Before that, it was all um, man done and with horses. And, uh, you know, they would still drive all the logs down the river. And uh, they'd drive all the logs down this river all the way to the Ottawa River and the St. Lawrence, and then they would, you know, pack it on a ship and send it back to freaking England. So, quite a mission. Um, but yeah, there's old remnants of those cool things back in the, in the woods over there, because they're just huge chunks of steel and nobody took them out. So, it's funny how once garbage becomes old enough, it becomes sort of cool and historical. Okay. Yeah. He waved. Is a scorcher out here. Oh, oh, just had a nice bite. I got a really nice hit by a heavy pickerel, but uh, no dice for the fish. And I'm really starting to want to pair one of our dinners with some fish and um, walleye. Everyone calls them pickerel in Canada, but they're actually walleye. Just an absolutely delicious eating fish. We're just entering Lac Manitou sort of the calm before the storm where we're gonna have a bunch of interesting sets of rapids to deal with a bouldery swift area to a takeout right before a waterfall so some pushy fast current right before a waterfall makes me a little bit nervous for sure and then coming into the days ahead we're gonna have a whole bunch of really fun rapids to run and so we're looking forward to that and uh, some waterfalls a nice countryside Looks like there's a rock in the middle up there. Draw.
Draw. Hold it. Yeah. Okay, let's get in this eddy here. This is a takeout here too. so bad got a lot of weight on me but it's a nice day pretty cool eh so we wanted some fish with dinner and Heather is gonna catch it for us yeah. Oh, oh yeah oh it's huge pull it up on the beach Hello. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's huge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's huge. Love. <laughs> Don't go under that love. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Nice fish, Heather. Fish is on the menu. Nice! Oh. Every single cast. Now they're small eating. Every cast. Just every cast. Smally Sanctuary. Smally Sanctuary. Let's yeah. get that fish. They fight so well too, so it's just action packed. So fun. Yeah. This one's going back. We have two for dinner. <laughs> so when I'm not on the water, I'm able to continue fishing with this awesome game, Fishing Clash. Fishing Gunner's still late. Oh, fish on. He's head shaking. He's going for a jump. It's gotta be big. What is it? Yeah! Samoma! That's what me and Heather are catching on the Des Moines right now. <laughs> They fight so well. My favorite part of this is you can go all around the world and catch all kinds of different fish species. It inspires you to want to go there. Let's go fish the Florida coast. Cast her out there. Oh yeah, baby. Black nose shark. Look, there's a girl on the dock over there. Be careful, there's sharks in the water. Fishing Clash is free to download on Android or Apple iOS. Just click the link in the description below or scan the QR code that's on the screen right now with your phone and it'll take you right there. And when you do that, don't forget to use my special coupon code, Ted Baird, to get a $20 value reward for free. So just follow these three steps. Click here, click here, type in Ted Baird and claim. With my code, you'll get a unique avatar, one mythical lure card, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups. It's gonna help you catch bigger fish, and pro tip, lures are honestly the most important part of the game. I'm gonna leave a pinned comment and let me know what the biggest fish that you managed to catch was. So far, mine has been a shark. They're super fun. Go download Fishing Clash, travel the world, and catch different fish species. We gotta go do all the work of cleaning the fish, lighting a fire, cooking dinner. Oh, geez, it's a lot. Eating it. Yeah, eating it. That's the hardest part. <laughs>
piece of driftwood. And normally if I was at home, I'd actually keep this because I'm weird like that and I just love rustic things. So like if I was at home, I would totally just hang this on my wall, maybe put a couple of like black little hooks across and it would be a coat rack or a hat rack or a dog leash rack, any kind of rack. It's really cool. Um, obviously we have a lot of portages, so I'm just gonna whip it in the fire. But like I said, if I found this at home, I'd keep it, I'd make something and it would probably be hanging on our wall. <laughs> We are running a little stretch of rapid here. We got to do a couple of technical short little runs that are above drops. We got to be careful. Cross draw, forward, forward. Forward, cross draw. All right. Okay, paddle hard forward. Nicely done. And this is the trail. Good job. That was a little more eventful, eh? That's only a class one. So we just came down here, camped here, ran this, got out right before the drop, portaged, and now we're gonna run this stretch here to the next takeout. Well, it's quite the uh, rapid there. I actually ran that years ago in the spring. But uh, that's definitely a no-go with me and Heather and Bella. This is the not a swim. Okay, so this is the, uh, the portage. So I was wrong. I made a mistake and we had portaged that last little class two. So we're all like geared up, ready to bomb a rapid right over a waterfall. And uh, there's absolutely no rapid at all.
Golden chanterelles. All right. Thought we were maybe going to be running uh, some of Triple Play, which I was like really nervous about leading up to this trip, but um, so far we've just portaged it and it's over. But you know, it is what it is. It's, it's over now and uh, the portages, you know, they're pretty bouldery. Um, right knee's really hurting so going down these uh, bouldery portages are taking a little more time than I would like but I'm doing it as long as I go slow everything's cool so uh, yeah you know another portage done onward there's the bottom drop of triple play maybe you could run it in a kayak or something or a play boat forward. Back paddle. Okay. Back paddle. Forward. Cross draw. Forward, forward, forward. Back paddle. Okay, cross draw. All right, hold it, hold it. Nice. We have this, then we're at Lac Benoit, and then we have Canoe Eater. Canoe Eater's a three. Look at that canoe up there. It's like the bottom of a canoe up in the tree there. It's, it's smashed apart canoe. That's what it is. Wow. All right, well, we are just entering Lac Benoit. This is kind of where the fun rapids begin. A lot of people start their trip from this point. Pretty excited for this next little run. Are you being a good girl, Belly? Bella likes the spray deck. to get over here before a waterfall that's right down there. It's pretty tame, really. Um, it's just the proximity to the falls that makes it more dangerous. This is what happened when you mess around. So sometimes things look tame, but um, the force of water is so powerful that if you hit a rock and get stuck sideways, your canoe tips, and then the open part of the canoe just crushes around the rock, and the canoe will rip in half. It's very possible, so I'm relaxed. I saw that smashed canoe. It's a little uh, daunting um, seeing that right above a rapid. We're going here? Are you seriously? Well, we were going the other way. No, no, forward. Late in the day, we got a rapid called Canoe Eater. Only one canoe, 
and we have to run stuff with our dog on the canoe. So if we get into trouble late in the day, it would be, uh, you know, more nerve wracking. So um, we're a little nervous. the water must be unseasonably low because look at this just an absolute boulder garden I mean we could try to run it is this not a rock right there where the waves going over yeah it is it's just gonna dump us all right Sick, eh? That was a good run there. Exhilarating. Yeah, oh. Go on! Ah. Put on the train at the paddle. A pike! I got a pike. Ooh, yeah. Nice fish, Heather. Thank you. Haven't caught that many pike, so, you know, it's always exciting to catch one. So fun. Good girl. camping right on the water so nice we're also just a bit more further along so it puts us a little bit ahead for tomorrow true which is nice bella's already picked the tent spot out i think you bella
Here's the chanterelles that uh, I found earlier. Harvested a couple. Pair them with our fish. Well, it looks like it's going to be a day of rain travel. Hopefully on and off, but uh, maybe it'll bring the water up a smidge. Would have helped us yesterday. It's actually kind of pretty. And there's kind of a cool mist coming off all the, uh, the trees. So hopefully it's still a good day and we're not too, too saturated by the end. Bunch of fun rapids today. Forward hard, cross draw, forward, draw, cross draw, forward, forward, cross draw. All right, get left hard, forward hard. You see those rocks up ahead? Yeah. It's gonna go straight. Yeah. Woo. Woo. So technical, eh? Getting on the gunnels the whole time, eh? What a dog. Really technical. Yeah, see my glasses are getting wet, so if they get really wet, I won't be able to see. Bella, get back. Come on. Back. Stay. This is the, the with the one with the ledges. So just left bank carry. So let's go from the left bank. Looks like far right is a good option. Right from the top. Thanks for waiting and not ditching me. Far right. Yeah, we're gonna go middle and then get right. Okay. Yell loud.
super hard. We might have to line. Line to here in low water on the right, then run, then scout, and then we got to get left of center. Okay, maybe we'll line, scout, run, like it says. Falls coming up, Portage 340 yards. Do oh, not run. Yet. Like, see, wrap. Oh, it's a class four. Yeah, yeah. Caution. Use of spotters recommended. Most immortals should take Portage. It's not easy. It's never easy. But, found some more. Golden chanterelles. Good luck, Whole bunch of golden chanterelles. Cook these up for dinner tonight. For lunch today, right before the portage, we are having peanut butter pitas. Mm. Nothing but five star luxury. You travel with us. We're wet. My underwear is soaked. Raining, but like I see a bit of hope. Poking through. <laughs> it's supposed to be a class four, then a class three, then a class two, or something. Judging by how bouldery things are, um, because of the water level, some stuff I think that's runnable normally uh, wasn't with our heavy, heavy boat because um, we just get hung up. But maybe we can like line a bit and then run it. So, anyway, um, that's what we're gonna do. Have you put on your poodle feet? Have you put on your poodle feet? Look at that. Oh, you're so cute. So cute. She's so cute. I decided to solo the last bit with no gear and it was so much easier and safer like that and heck of a fun thing. So keep your eye out a bit on the left just in case there's another sight. I am so over this rain. Good thing we have an arc in our animal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even seeing any dance sites right now. Nothing. No opening, nothing. I want to know, have you ever, ever seen the rain? I'm only happy when it rains. Nice. I'm only happy when it's complicated. 
awesome. Dumb, dumb rain. <laughs> <laughs> What a spot. Heather approved? Yeah. Sure. I like this one more yeah. too. So, even when it's been raining this much, if you find a dead standing, especially one the bark's fallen off of, it's usually dry and not rotted, and you split the middle out, and then the middle inside here is totally bone dry. by the fire with a nice cup of hot chocolate. I'm not gonna lie, I put a splash of uh, rum in mine. There's the pile of wet clothes there. And uh, <laughs> there's actually plenty more where that came from. <laughs> oh. Bella, where are, you, where are you off to with that? <laughs> Bella, you going where, for a stroll? where are you going? You going for a stroll with the, with the week's worth of dog food? Where are you going with that? <laughs> He's so cute. Bella's getting a late dinner just like us. We're gonna do three pizzas again? We didn't, uh, it was just dumping rain and we didn't take the time to catch a fish today. So we're going to pair the chanterelles that I found with our pizza. Seems fitting. There they are. A little crispy on this side, but not too bad. There's the mushrooms in there. Looks good. Mm. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my right time girl. Here it is, me love. Mmm. The calzone with the chanterelles. It is actually freaking delicious. These camp calzones, once again, have knocked it out of the park. So good. Highly recommend them. Hearing a friendship? this 
tarp system works quite well for the ability to position it exactly where you want it and uh, even able to tie a drawing line between the two front ones. Here's some remnants of the uh, past logging days in the uh, eras where they used the river to float all the logs down river to get to the ocean. This was a log slide. So they built this one big, big log there and then the other logs like that and they chopped them down and slide them in. They came in and they cut down all those trees and you'd have the log drivers, the guys that would run along the, the logs and unplug log jams at the top of uh, at the top of dams and falls and a lot of them died doing that because it was super dangerous. There'd be a big log jam and the guy's job was to run out on the logs on the river on top of a huge falls often and try to poke one free and then run away before they all just crash down the raging rapid and fall so uh, but this is a piece of history here of that era um, you know now they use machines and they take it all out that way they don't float it down river awesome lookout up to that ridge I think it says keep left for a reason. Okay, forward. Well, just approaching a big rapid here called Big Steel Rapids. It starts as a class three. I'm gonna just pop out here and scout it and uh, see if we can run this down. It looks from here like we can, which is pretty freaking sweet. Um, and uh, that'll, that'll set us ahead for sure. Get to the uh, scenic falls and maybe even do some swimming. I'm hearing some thunder, but hopefully that's passing the tail end of yesterday. I wouldn't call this a class three, but uh, this in its current state isn't a three. Should be pretty smooth. little bit like disappointing that it was so small well. anyway it was fun though yeah it was looks like we have another powerful thunderstorm coming um you can hear it in the distance not so distant. you can hear it in the not so distance sounds like it's getting closer actually after the amount of rain we had yesterday once it cleared up today we were like all right and now this is rolling in so boo hoo it's all part of the adventure character building we're being blessed with some liquid sunshine oh it's lightning right above it well this thunderstorm has uh really rolled in and uh, we're getting a little nervous. All of a sudden it went from no wind to just the trees blowing everywhere. It's raining and the sky's just blackened. 
and uh, there's lightning. So we're kind of a little bit of sitting ducks out here. So we're trying to stay really close to shore. Uh, not, not the weather we had wanted for visiting the scenic fault. Little nuts actually. An eagle just flew off the thing there. Branch, maybe it'll be around the corner. Looks like it might be clearing up right before the scenic falls. It's still raining, but there's a glimmer of hope in the distance, and I haven't heard uh, thunder in a while. to see scenic falls and wow is it ever scenic check this out wow look at this awesome waterfall freaking amazing Shed trails. Sweet. Wow. So pretty in here, but it's very slippery. It's all moss covered. Feels like I'm in a BC rainforest. Like it really resembles like Squamish or something like that with all the green moss and the ferns. 
in the rain. So pretty. Look at these freaking awesome cliffs. Wow. Pretty freaking cool. That's probably why there was such an epic waterfall. I totally wanted to swim, but I've just been soaked to the bone for two days straight. Um, I stood up there in my like raincoat, like a wimp. Remnants of an old road here. Kind of cool. on this we were actually planning on getting a little bit further we were gonna go just run the next rapids and pick the next fight but we came across this one just really nice nestled in and so this is gonna be our home for the night Uh, so it's breakfast time. Be <laughs> cute. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. So this time on Heather's Reviews, going to be reviewing these new pancakes that we picked up at Costco. They are buttermilk pancakes with protein, which seemed fitting uh, since we're doing a lot of physical uh, activity on this trip. We're going to cook them up with uh, some fried apples with cinnamon on them. I'm optimistic. I think they're going to be yummy. They weigh the same as regular pancakes, but you're getting so much more sustenance. Um, they're going to be more hearty, I think. They kind of do smell a, have a bit of a smell of a protein shake which makes me a little bit nervous <laughs> taste really similar to just regular pancakes. So for me, this is a win. I think if you're doing a trip and you're coming out here and you have the option to buy these pancakes, I think you should. Five stars. Absolutely. We're drawing all our stuff into the wind. It's done. We don't even have our clothes on in this ripping rain and wind just dumped in. We're panicking. That's what I think of this weather. Well, that was interesting. Scrambling, I'm running around in my undies, putting on rain pants. <laughs> and uh, all the food barrel, all the food was getting soaked. Uh, so it was pretty funny, but wow, we, in a blink of an eye, we got camp packed up. It's a good lesson. Move like it's hammering rain and your undies are out. And then, then you'll break camp probably in half an hour every day. <laughs> We're 
en route to uh, Grand Chute. Pretty excited to see this Grand Chute. Not so excited for the kilometer portage, but you know, we might break it up. We'll see. Well, we're going to camp there, so we kind of are breaking up. There you go. With the pipe? But yeah. It's too small to keep. Oh, yeah, just a baby. Just a little hammer handle. About to run Zed Rapids. It's a bit technical, but we shall see. Draw, draw. coming through the pines. Look, it's like raining way harder, like 30 feet in front of us. That's crazy. Look, it's like splitting the river. Oh, here it is. Well, at least we were able to draw it out first. Oh, it's hail. Oh, yeah. Look at these trunks. Hailing. So we're just caught in a hail lightning storm. So we're just kind of waiting it out here a little bit. Oh look, an eagle. Oh cool. He's after my fish. That was awesome. Bald eagle just flew over us as Ted just caught this nice smallmouth. There he is up there. Yeah. He looks big from here. We're just approaching the Grand Chute and uh, it's gone from sort of a flat marshy type area and now we're back in a quite large hilly area. You can hear the big fall in the distance and that's where we're going to start our portage and set up camp for the night, assuming we don't whip over and die. So there's the waterfall in the uh, the bridge, and uh, there's the trail. So definitely not a place you want to be messing around or in pocket pool. I hate alders too, Bella. Hate them. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Get the whole thing, eh? Good girl. Get that thing. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. This is the campsite.
to the bench. Ross Robinson. In memory of 28-2018. It's a really nice tribute, I gotta say. Des Moines River. We're gonna have our morning coffee sitting over here by Grand Chute. How awesome is that? I thank you. Coffee with a view. Heavy canoe. It's really nice that uh, this river, the Des Moines in Quebec in Canada, one of the last undammed rivers in the whole province. And that's why getting to experience this beautiful, beautiful chute here. If it was dammed like the other major rivers, this is certainly where there would be a dam. And uh, this would all just be destroyed and upriver all the rapids everything we ran would be totally underwater and the forest flooded so uh, 
I prefer to leave them wild and free like this. So gorgeous. Wow. Come out here, other. There's a smashed boat. It's a reminder not to mess around above the falls. What a swimming hole, what a campsite. This is arguably better than the campsite we had last night. I mean, I kind of almost wish we just took pictures there and then camped here because this is freaking so nice. This whole spot here is just like a fairy tale of like just scenic views after one after another is unreal waterfall epic fishing what more could you ask for right less portaging just kidding <laughs> anyway i'm glad we checked this out we'll have to come back one day Just finished the Grand Chute Portage. It was so pretty. The whole way it was absolutely just stunning. It was. We gotta get middle. Big rock. Oh. Yeah. yeah. More volume in the river now, eh? Yeah. So we are just on Lac Robinson. And it uh, feels nice to kind of be on the water with a little bit of tranquility after just portaging the sound of the rushing falls and then a rapid right after. It's really nice to have that just like relaxing breather. Um, and just enjoy the peace and quiet. Beautiful. Oh, and I got a fish. Oh, it got off. Damn it. Must have been another smallmouth because uh, it went airborne, and when it did that, it came off the hook. So, good escape plan. The class three. I'm scared. Looks like just a fun ride down. Alright. Way way down there too. Keep 
going. Keep going. Okay, forward hard. Wow, that was sick. That was really fun. All these people here. Oh no, Dad. Forward, forward. So Heather and I uh, were planning on camping. There was two campsites at that last uh, rapid. We were gonna run that rapid. End of the day, kind of wet, we're at camp, but there was actually other canoeists there. And what looked like a big group, they had like five canoes, probably an outfitter. And so now it's late in the day, it's like 6.45 and we don't have a campsite yet. So the portage is uh, on the right. So I'm hoping that there's a campsite here and that no one's at it. There, knew it, right there. See it? Yes. All right, Heather. Woo! And it always works out was ready to hack a site out of the woods, but this is better than that because we don't have to do any of that. There's driftwood here too. Just a little makeshift campsite here right on the Portage Trail. Probably for people doing exactly like what happened to us. Pretty good day. Good job today, little. You did good. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good girl. You're welcome. You're welcome. We ended up going further than we thought. Puts us in a little better position for tomorrow. And this this uh, portage is just with the water level. It's just a quick nothing carryover. So we'll be able to do our hike earlier in the day, which is exactly what we wanted. It is. It worked out. So yeah. Uh, you see her sitting there across the way. Well deserved meal. We did that big portage too. Tonight, we are making fry bread. Very hungry. <laughs> Cup of butter. Huh. Already regretting this. <laughs> bread. Mm. That's good. Yummy. It's a nice treat after a hard day's work. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Somehow I um, I pre-made a bag of Bannock and there was instructions like two cups of water this and that and i'm just like uh oh, just like not paying attention just made it and i'm like this is way too much and then there was like even though i followed the instructions it was too tacky still so i was like i can't even make this so i had to add a little bit of pancake batter 
Um, and even still, but it's manageable now. Uh, we could just save it tacky and, and cook it tomorrow. It's not going to go bad or anything, but um, there's a massive pot of it. <laughs> um, so, you know, but I mean, we just we just started getting into it and it's pretty good. So it is. I'm sure we're going to put a pretty big dent in it. Squirrel? Ted and Heather here again. <laughs> Fancy to see you here. Think of us yet? Of course it's raining on the day we want to do a hike for a view. Of course. Maybe it'll clear up by then. Anyway, it's been a good trip so far. We're hoping to meet up with uh, some friends of ours uh, that just happened to be in the area out of coincidence and had a little bit of time and was going to actually come upriver where the current isn't so strong and meet us near the end. Uh, we have a rendezvous point, but we don't know if they're going to be there or not. We, we haven't had confirmation, so it'll be interesting to see yeah. if they're there. Maybe they'll even have a campsite set up and a tarp rig. <laughs> Beers for us. Yeah. Snuggly dry socks. <laughs> Super cool. We're gonna walk up the ridge like that. Okay. Yeah. There was a moose here. It's cool to uh, get off the water for a bit and change it up and uh, do a little hike to a view. Heather and I are walking up to uh, Bald Eagle Cliff. Check out this mushroom. Cool. It is overcast, but the cliff isn't so tall that we should get a view. Mushroom. Looks like coral. Pretty cool. Kind of looks like a sea sponge, too. Looking forward to uh, getting up there. It's good exercise. It's nice to get out of the canoe for a bit, too, and do a walk in the forest without carrying heavy packs. 
Heather's cute as a button. So are you, Valley? Bella really likes these walks. Don't you, Betty? This is one of the longest walks Bella's ever been on. Nine days so far. How cool would it be if we looked down and there was just a bald eagle nest? Just packed full of baby bald eagles getting fed bunnies. Wowzers. I'd say we did it. Wow. What do you think, Heather? Was it worth it? Definitely. This view is magnificent. Look at this. Look at the, the steam rising up in the hills. We just saw, you see a group of canoeists come down the river here. What a view. This is epic. Just a freaking awesome view here. The river. And even though it's raining, it's actually pretty cool. It's this cool mist floating through the forest. Saw another group paddle past. Well, we got the view just in the nick because it is really clouding up. It's beautiful regardless, of course, but. Pretty sweet. All yeah, right, now it. for the descent. Yeah. The descent. <laughs> was that so awesome right so fun so fun so fun onward we're gonna go meet up with some friends of ours which is pretty exciting we got confirmation they're heading up so we should be rendezvousing with them soon This huge yeah. rainbow and we came to the end of it and this is what we found. I hope you like oh. It. oh my goodness, <laughs> steaks? <laughs> what did we do to deserve this? Amazing guys. Wow. You guys are really friendly. <laughs> Better than our meow squirt. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> We're all set up. Nice fire they got going for us. Beers and steaks. We're just feeling good because we've pretty much completed our adventure because uh, 10 days with white water, flat water, hammering rain, you name it, we had it. And uh, we got about 20 kilometers left to paddle back to our car. All things should go according to plan. We don't get any crazy head uh, headwinds or anything, we should be fine. 
but uh, we're just going to enjoy this night here and uh, looking forward to it because it's been a while since we've seen anyone and so um, it's cool to meet up front. Any more obstructions? Nope. I don't want it to be over either. No more port houses, no more rapids. There's actually an outhouse on site, so I'm looking have... forward to cranking one out of that. <laughs> This would make a magazine, this not so much. <laughs> Beautiful place. We're pretty fortunate to have this where we live. Doing a lot of these videos I do now, like I realized before, but now I, even more so of how lucky we are to have access to the wilderness we have here. So we're parting ways. They're actually parked on the other side of the river over here and we still have to go down river, uh, probably about another five, six kilometers to where uh, we're gonna be meeting our shuttle driver and our car. But it was really good meeting up with them. Such a nice thing after nine hard days on the river. Some good times, laughs, and just hanging around the campfire. Nothing better than that. Bye. Later, dudes. See ya. Bye, Bella. Well, Heather, Bella, and I are just coming down the home stretch, and that'll complete a successful journey down the Des Moines River. Kind of sad that it's coming to an end. But that's always how it is, I suppose. It's just something so freaking amazing about just being out in the wilderness, just wild and free, and every inch you go has to be by your own sweat and blood. We're both sore, but it's a good sore. Just all around a healthy, uh, good experience. Some character building stuff for sure, and some bad weather, but all part of the adventure. I'm just really had a great time out here with Heather and Bella. Bella was great, she's becoming a much better canoe dog. She ran all the rapids with us, came running down all the rapids, just there's the little adventure pup Bella on top of the canoe. Lots of fun and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Don't forget to go download Fishing Clash, links in the description. Cause hey, I love my dog and I love my wife. But if there's one thing I love more than anything else in this world, it's catching real big bass. Yeah! Small mouth! Every single cast. <laughs> <laughs>